Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. So, you want to see how to do a simple approach to titles in Kden Live? Not sure where to begin? Stay with me. Let's do just that. All right, so Kden Live. This is a free open source video editor, a uh, fantastic tool, works in Windows, works in Linux. I'm on Ubuntu, by the way. Right now, I am running what I believe is latest and greatest. This is 22.08.0, uh, so this is the latest that's available, at least for uh, Linux. All right, so getting into titles, I've done a video about this before, so I'll try to keep this kind of as a, a catch-up and to keep it simple just so you can understand uh, kind of the, the basic workings of what's going on. The simplest way to create a title is in the project bin space here, a brand new project, is right-click within an empty space and go to Add Title Clip. This is going to bring you into the title editor. And there's a few things here. I'll just hop over them quickly. Uh, there is use grid, which is what gives you the designer grid. I recommend using that so you can kind of get an idea of the spacing. Uh, the guides are a similar thing where you can kind of see, again, respectively within the frame where you are. And the background is also very nice because if there is something in the background, like if you're working in layers, uh, it will show you what's underneath so you can get a good sense of where it's going to fall there, though. So those are the couple quick options down here that are very useful and helpful, and I recommend using them. All right, so these properties over here will just appear by default. Uh, the basic title, all you need to do is click somewhere in here. It's going to borrow whatever color you have set or if it's on gradient and start off with just text. All right, so you can type, start typing something. And as soon as you click off it, you can click back again and drag that around. Now, some simple ways to align this, I'll just mention, uh, which are very useful, are to use these up here. You can put that in center going uh, horizontally. You can put it in center going vertically just so it's perfectly in the middle according to the current sizing. Those are quick shortcuts and can get it really, really well centered or aligned. And again, this works really if you wanted to go left or to the other way, to the right. Um, you can do all those at the click of a button. You don't have to guess or eyeball it. It saves a lot of time. Shadow is also very useful because it gives a little bit of almost outline, but it's a little bit of differential gradient. Um, they're really, yeah, it defaults to black, kind of a gray, which is where I'd say keep it because um, <laughs> that usually adds a more contrast. I suppose a white might be appropriate sometimes, but that's where you can set that. And then these, these are the controls to work with that. Um, and you can align that shadow as well for whatever works for your scenario. Okay, so I'm going to first, before we go any further, I'm going to create the title. All right, so this actually now becomes a piece of this project. It does save it separately in one of the hidden folders associated with the project, but it now just kind of floats with the project. You don't have to maintain this file separately. And you can drag this into the timeline. You can really treat this like you would any other object in the timeline. You can apply effects to it. You can do really anything you would do with a normal piece that comes into the timeline. Fade it, do all those things. All right, now going back into that text editor, I can double click this from here on the timeline. I can double click it from here. There's a lot of ways to get back into this title. And the cool thing is, is that as you make changes to it, it will follow along with you. So I can update this title. I can do the things that I mentioned before, recenter it, realign it, and I can update it. And that now flows into wherever it happens to be used in the timeline. I don't have to reload it back in or do that business. It maintains it as its own object, which is really, really useful. So going back in there, there's a couple of more deeper, fancier things. Again, not, not too complicated, but they're good to know about. I'm um, just to require a little bit more know-how. Um, if I select this once, left mouse button, there's this neat thing called the typewriter effect, where you can kind of simulate that it's coming into the frame. And I'll give you a very simple example here. We're going to keep the frame step high. This is the number of st uh, frames it will escalate according to what you set. By character means literally by letter um, or whichever you have punched in there, alphanumeric. <laughs> Um, or by line if you have multiple lines, or by word. It understands if there's a space, it's a new word. I'm going to keep it by character. I'm going to update that. And what we can see happens 
is that you can see how in the preview window up there in the upper right, how that now kind of pushes on to the, uh, the window. And I didn't have to do anything special to animate that. It just has that baked in as that typewriter effect. And you can make that um, a little more delayed if you wanted to. I can come back into that and I can step up the number of frames just so it takes longer to get through it. The more frames uh, per step, the more frames it has to cover before it will step forward the animation. So if I bring this up a little bit and remembering that our project file is running, I believe on the 60 frames per second. So 60 frames would equal one second of time uh, from where I am right now, but it's gonna vary depending on the product you've set up. But I'm gonna push that up a little bit and you can see how this is now taking much longer to get through the title that I've set. So that's the typewriter effect that can add some really, really nice uh, flow to things. If you're looking to kind of introduce the title rather than have it just pop on, um, you could of course use the transitions. You can use the effects to, to enhance it a little bit as well, uh, but there's that. Also alongside the text, you can add other th simple things. There's simple shapes that you can add. You can add images in line with the title that get saved into it. Um, so those are also some things that you can use to enhance what you're doing um, and, and dress up the title a little bit. Um, I'll say that this does have some animation aspects built in, but I'm not gonna go over that. I've gone over it before. It's a little kludgy in this window and you're actually better off doing these things using either a transform or a position um, in Zoom, um, doing those effects outside of this editor um, and it comes off a lot cleaner. It's much easier to control. So it's there. It's not really worth your time. <laughs> um, background is if you wanted to have change the, the background color behind it. I usually just keep it as it is because I like it transparent, um, but you may have a different preference there, but the tab is there. All right. So we have these options. We've set this up. Uh, the one thing I wanted to mention from here, because again, I'm trying to keep this simple. This is the kind of catching up and ways you can use it from here are, are the templates. Now you can create new templates, uh, which are reusable. Um, because as I mentioned, when you just kind of make a title as it is, this kind of floats with the project, but you might be asking, well, I'm going to be making a title that I'm going to be introducing a video and I, I plan to use it many, many times. Okay, so what you would do then is when you're inside of here, you come up here to the upper left and you would do a save as, all right? And here you can pick really where you wanna go. It's gonna default you to whichever folder you've set as the project and it will make a title folders, a title folder in there. And you would have that ability then to save that uh, where you select. All right, so I've now saved that. Um, it's not going to appear here yet because I've just introduced it. So for now, I'm going to do that. And I believe if I come back into that window, I might have to close and reopen. Nope, it already reloaded. So I just have to refresh that window. I can now see that and I could reuse that already in this project or the next time I come and do a new project, that will be there and it will be ready for me to reuse this title um, or bring it in and then update it slightly. If I need to change some of the language, that's fine. Uh, because again, once I make it a title within the project, it floats with the project, but the template doesn't get updated unless I purposefully change it. So the templates can be very useful as a reusable or even a semi-dynamic object that you can update along the way as you need to. If the date changes, if the name slightly changes along the way, you can still do those things. So another way to get into using your templates is if I went into, again, the project space, really quick and easy way, if I'm starting a new project, in fact, why don't I just do that? New project would be that I can right click again, and I actually have a separate link, I could add another title clip, and I could use that, that drop down I showed you, but you can also just say add template title, which is another quick and easy way. There's number two, and it has the typewriter effect, that's why you only see part of it. So I'm gonna select that, and I'm gonna say, okay. And I now have that and ready to go in my project. And I can take this, and as I mentioned, I can add some more to it. And it will ask you this question. Um, if you wanna modify that, again, I mentioned, if you wanna keep the title intact, make sure you choose this, this option carefully, whether you want to update the template or just save it as that floating title. And I'm gonna save it in the product this time because I'm gonna keep the template as it was. And we now have this as 
as the object. So it does run off a little bit. You may have caught that. Um, and that's because we have the, uh, I modified the length of it. So we'd have to recalculate the typewriter effect going into it and making some adjustments, but I showed you how to do that. So, all right. So that is really the gist of basic title work. Um, even some advanced things so you can spice it up a little bit and make it fun and flary and interesting to watch. I hope that is useful. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing if you haven't done that already. Also leave a comment ask a question and join the community of learners so we can share our experiences and make each other stronger. Also, if you're interested in supporting the channel, I do have links below for my content creator eBooks and also for Patreon, no pressure, but if you are interested in becoming a, a supporter of this channel uh, so I can keep creating, that would be great. I appreciate that. And if not, I appreciate you just for being here too, because I appreciate you watching this through and supporting me in that way. So in any case, thank you for your time and I will see you at the next video.